Tan Hut, up and at him, recruit. Today begins your basic training for the Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp game. This game features tactical turn-based battles and a colorful cast of characters who will keep you on your toes. We'll cover some strategies to make sure you're in tip-top shape when you hit the battlefields. All right, troops, roll out. While you work your way through the two separate story campaigns, you'll control several different commanding officers, commonly referred to as COs. Your mission, defending from opposing nations. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's make sure you understand the basics of battle. Maps are grid-based and units can only move a certain number of spaces per turn. Depending on their type, some units can cover more distance and others have advantages on different terrain. For example, soldiers can only move so far because they're on foot, but vehicles can cover a lot more ground. Now, when it comes to crossing a forest or mountain range, your soldiers are better suited for the trek. March! A unit's type also determines its range of attack. Infantry units can only attack adjacent enemies, but artillery units can cause damage from further away. As units take damage and lose HP, they'll also inflict less damage on their foes. You do have the option to join units together, though, healing them back up and replenishing their ammo. Once your units have acted and you end the turn, your opponent gets to make their moves. Now, let's cover how you can gain the tactical advantage. In a typical battle, you'll need to capture your opponent's HQ or defeat all their units to secure the win. We have a good number of units on the battlefields, but we could use a little extra firepower. By selecting one of your controlled bases, you can build more units, assuming you have the funds. More controlled properties equals more moolah. You'll want to deploy units that are effective against the opposition. There's no such thing as the perfect army, so I recommend experimenting with all types to adapt to the situation. Ah, perfect timing to introduce CO powers. During exchanges with your opponents, this meter will fill up and you'll be able to use a CO power. Extraordinary abilities that, when used at the right time, can turn the tide of battle. I can fix anything. The Orange Star's Andy can use a CO power called Hyper Repair. This restores HP to all his units and increases their defense. Ready for attack. Eagle of the Green Earth Army has a CO power called Lightning Strike, which allows his units that have already acted to move again. There's a wide variety of CO powers at your disposal, so figure out which best suit your playstyle. Ba-boom! By the way, this version of Advance Wars has a couple handy new features. Want to speed up the action? Just hold down the ZR button to cruise through dialogue and combat animations. There's also a shiny new reset turn option that allows you to, you guessed it, reset the current turn. Following along so far? Good, because we're not done yet. Hoorah! If the campaign isn't enough for you, then try your hand at the War Room. Here you can test your tactical prowess in a wide array of different challenges with the CO of your choice. Try to get the top ranking. Still want more? Then try Versus Mode. Square off locally against up to three human or computer opponents on one Nintendo Switch system, or wirelessly across four systems if each player has the game. Looking for more colorful battles elsewhere? Then take your tactical mind to the internet in Online mode. You and a friend can compete head to head in an all out tactical tussle. You'll both meet a Nintendo Switch system and the game, as well as active Nintendo Switch Online memberships. There are a few other modes where you can spend some time, including the design room. Here, you can create custom maps and share them online or through a local wireless connection. You can also pay a visit to the local commissary called Hachi Shop. The Orange Star Army's local chatterbox Hachi is ready and willing to separate you from your in-game coins in exchange for additional battle maps, COs who can be used in the war room and multiplayer modes, and more. Finally, there's an in-game gallery. 
Enjoy music and artwork you've obtained from Hachi Sha, among other assorted sundries. It's a great way to reminisce and relive fond memories. <clears throat> Attention! All right, recruit, we've reached the end of your training. Ready to show off everything you've learned? Prove you've got what it takes when Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp marches on to Nintendo Switch April 21st. You can be ready to deploy on launch day by pre-ordering the game on Nintendo eShop.